These natural gas lines that carry natural gas to our homes are buried three or four feet beneath the ground, and when they have a break, the natural gas starts to leak out and make its way to the surface and up into the atmosphere. Methane is a very potent greenhouse gas. Over the first 20 years, it's 84 times more potent than carbon dioxide. And while most of these leaks are not an immediate safety threat, they are a threat to the environment. Working together with EDF and Colorado State University, we equipped a handful of Street View cars with methane analyzers, and we've been driving around uh, select U.S. cities for the past few years now. When the Street View car drives around, it's capturing 360-degree panoramic imagery. But with this project, on top of that, it's also measuring methane concentration every half second as the car drives down the street. My role in this project is to look at the data that comes from these methane analyzers and to try to interpret that in light of natural gas leaks. We're able to identify natural gas leaks throughout the distribution systems in cities and measure how much methane is coming out from each of these leaks. Natural gas pipeline replacement projects like this are happening across the country throughout the year and they're expensive. One of the goals of our project is to inform utilities about where the leakiest pipelines are so they can target the replacement effort on those lines. Essentially, we're turning the Street View fleet into an environmental sensing platform. So all the analysis of the, of the air samples is done back here where we have this high precision methane analyzer. And this is where the air is analyzed. It's drawn from the intake tubing in the front bumper by this pump. And then there's a high precision GPS unit on the rooftop all the data that's collected by these instruments is analyzed by a computer that resides up on the driver's seat. We take that data and run it through an algorithm that shows us not only where the leaks are, but also how big the leaks are. The result is a Google map on the EDF website where anyone can go and see where these methane leaks are happening. The Environmental Defense Fund has been very focused and brought this, this problem of methane to the fore, and so that partnership is incredibly powerful. This technology, I think of it as like having glasses. We're finally able to see natural gas leaks for the first time. The methane mapping project puts information in the hands of utilities and regulators. In New Jersey, the regulator and a utility have incorporated the data from our project to prioritize nearly a billion dollars worth of infrastructure investment. Natural gas lines are everywhere that people are, but they're buried and they're invisible. What is exciting to me about our research is that we're making this infrastructure and the problems with this infrastructure visible to other people. People often hear about climate change and think that it's a very remote, faraway issue. But this is one case where everyone can support local action that will make a difference.